Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these baby pants or leggings for a baby between six and nine months. I made these baby pants to match the little cardigan that I showed you a couple weeks ago. I'll leave the link to that tutorial down here in the information box. I'm also going to go ahead and make the matching baby booty, so stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so I hope you like them and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn. I'm using, I love this yarn, this is a light number three baby yarn in this color white. I'm going to make the waistband in this color white and then I'm going to switch to this um, yarn, Bernat Baby Sports in this color blue. Okay, so here to begin I have 95 chains. This chain here measures about 50 centimeters, which is about 19 and a half inches. Now to begin, we're going to join to the first chain. So we're going to do this so that our chain is not twisted. Okay, so we're going to join to the first chain like this and make a slip stitch. Now we're joined and our chain is not twisted. Now in this first row, we're going to make half double crochets on each one of the chains. So beginning here, we're going to chain one and into this same chain here, I'm going to make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain and so on. Here, this is all we're going to do, half double crochets on each one of the chains. So continue like this. At the end of this first row, you should have a total of 95 half double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 95 half double crochets, not including this chain that we have here at the beginning. Now to finish this row, we're going to go here to the top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and here we're going to twist this like this so that this row that we did is upside down. And we're going to insert our hook into this first chain. See right there insert your hook there, grab a loop, and make a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two, and here, this first half double crochet that we have here, we're going to work a front post double crochet. The next, we're going to work into a back post double crochet. The next one, front post, double crochet, the next one, back post, double crochets. Now, if you have problems making this waistband in this way where we do um, front post and back post double crochets, I know a lot of you message me and tell me that you have um, a hard time making this, then do what I did here for these baby pants that I'm working on. Um, this is like the, the brim that we make on, on hats, so I decided to make these little pins with this brim style um, waistband. Um, it's basically, I think I did eight chains and then did single crochets on each one of the chains, but only going through um, the back loops of each one of the single crochets and then continue around making um, this part here. So you can do the same thing. Okay, so here to continue, you're just going to continue in the same way. Just work a front post double crochet, then a back post double crochet. Okay, so continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 95 stitches all around. Now to finish, we're going to go to the top of the first stitch right there and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the second row. Now for the third row, chain two, and here we're going to work these stitches in the same way. This first one here is a front post double crochet, so make a front post double crochet. The next one is a back post double crochet next one front post double crochet and so on continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this third row now to finish we're going to go to the top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch 
and this is how we finish this um, part here now this is about an inch uh, maybe a little bit over an inch if you want to make this wider you can just continue and add more rows I'm just going to leave this part like this now for the next row we're going to chain one and into the same stitch here where we did the slip stitch make a single crochet single crochet into the next single crochet into the next and so on here all we're going to do are these single crochets all around so continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this row of single crochets up to here I have 95 single crochets now before we finish I'm going to make one more single crochet into this last stitch right there so make sure you do one more single crochet so in this last stitch here we're going to have two single crochets so now for this row I have a total of 96 single crochets so now to finish go to the top of the first single crochet right there and join with a slip stitch cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop there and this part here is done now for the next row I'm going to change color if you're not changing color just uh, chain one so here insert your hook into the same stitch we did the slip stitch grab this loop bring it through the front and chain one now into the same stitch here we're going to make our first half double crochet into the next make a half double crochet and so on for this row this is all we're going to do just half double crochets all around at the end of this row you're going to have a total of 96 half double crochets continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this row of half double crochets I have a total of 96 half double crochets now to finish go to the top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish this row now for the first row to our pattern stitch you're going to chain two and into this same stitch here you're going to make a double crochet here into the next half double crochet this one here this first one here we have a double crochet on top so the next one the second you're going to make a front post double crochet into the next on top you're going to make a double crochet the next half double crochet you're going to work a front post double crochet on top of the next make a double crochet the next half double crochet work a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next and then a front post double crochet into the next half double crochet this is all we're going to do for this row so continue like this just alternating between a double crochet on top of one of the half double crochets and then a front post double crochet into the next I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this first row to our pattern stitch this last stitch here is a front post double crochet now to finish go to the top of the first stitch which is this double crochet here and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish this first row now for the second row to our pattern stitch you're going to chain two and here you're going to look into the row below the row that we just finished and you're going to look into this these two first stitches the first one is a double crochet the next one is a front post double crochet in this second row you're going to do the opposite of what we just did so this first double crochet you're going to work into a front post double crochet the next one which is a front post double crochet now you're going to work a double crochet the next one make a front post double crochet and on top of the front post double crochet make a double crochet so front post double crochet double crochet front post double crochet double crochet on top this is how you're going to continue for the second row I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this second row to our pattern stitch now to finish we're going to go to the top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish the second row now for the next row and all the rows that follow you're just going to look at the row below and you're always going to chain two so in this case we started with a front post double crochet in the previous row so you know that in this row here you're going to make a double crochet then this double crochet that that's here you're going to work a front post double crochet then on top of the next make a double crochet then work a front post double crochet then a double crochet on top of the front post double crochet front post double crochet then double crochet and so on 
You're going to do this all around. When you finish this row, you're going to join here to the first stitch with a slip stitch, chain two, and then look at your first and second stitch and do the opposite of what you did on the previous row. In this case, you're going to start with a front post double crochet, then a double crochet on top of the front post double crochet, and then continue in the same way. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 18 rows, not counting this first row of uh, half double crochets that we did, and it measures from the top of the waistband down to this last row, it's measuring about 19 centimeters, which is about seven and a half inches. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the legs, so to do that, Remember, we have a total of 96 stitches all around. What I did here was I put a stitch marker right in the middle, uh, marking 48 stitches on this side and 48 stitches on this side. So here we're going to continue along in the same way we've been doing for this part. So here we're going to chain two. Now this first stitch here for the previous row is a front post double crochet for me, so I'm going to make a double crochet on top, then a front post double crochet, then double crochet, and so on. This is how I'm going to start my row. Okay, so continue like this until you have 48 stitches, and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did 48 stitches up to here, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go here on top of the first stitch on this side right there. This is the first stitch, so just go on top of that and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we're going to divide the legs. Now, here you're just going to continue in a circular form, just doing the same thing we did for this part, but here we're only going to have 48 stitches. So now here, just look at the stitch for the previous row, and this stitch here is a double crochet, so I'm going to work a front post double crochet in this row, then a double crochet on top of the front post double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet, and so on. You're just going to continue along this part. Um, when you're done with this row, you're just going to join here to the beginning, right on top of this front post double crochet, chain two, and then look at the row below, and start your row with a double crochet, then a front post double crochet, and so on. It's exactly the same way that we did this part here, except that, again, we only have 48 stitches here. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue like this. Um, this the legs should measure about 15 centimeters, so I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 14th row, so now what we're going to start doing here is we're going to reduce one stitch at the end of every row. So to do this, I'm at the end of the 14th row, so to do this here, I still have two more stitches to finish this row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a stitch reduction. So to work a stitch reduction, you're just going to go into this stitch. Now this stitch here for me is the stitch that I work into a front post double crochet, so I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to close. I'm going to leave two loops on the hook, I'm going to yarn over, and then the next stitch is where I make my um, double crochet on top, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Okay, so now I'm closing um, these two stitches into one. So, so now here we have a total of 47 stitches. Now to finish, go to the top of the first stitch, join with a slip stitch, and this is how we finish this 14th row. Now for row 15, you're going to chain two, and here look at the row below and look at how the first stitch is. This is a front post double crochet, so I'm going to make a double crochet, then front post double crochet, double crochet, and so on. So continue like this. I'm going to put a stitch marker here marking this first row of reduction. This is so that I know how many rows of reductions I'm going to do. So I'll meet you here at the end um, once again to show you how we're going to work another stitch reduction. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 15th row. I still have these two stitches left. I have this double crochet and then the stitch where we did the reduction on the previous row. So here, to do the reduction on this 15th row, you're going to yarn over. This stitch here, we're going to work into front post double crochet, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, go on top of the last stitch right there, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now go on top of the first stitch of this row and join with a slip stitch. Now for this 15th row, we have 46 stitches now. Again, we're going to chain two and we're going to work this row, front post double crochet, double crochet, 
front post double crochet and so on continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this 16th row right here to show you how we're going to reduce one more stitch okay i'm here at the end of the 16th row now again we're going to work another stitch reduction one and two so here we're going to work a front post double crochet but we're not going to close leave two loops yarn over go on top of the last stitch grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close this is all you're going to do for the next four rows so here go on top of the first stitch join with a slip stitch chain two and so on and repeat the same thing we're going to do this for the next let's see one two three four rows um, so you're going to do row 17 which is this one here at the end of row 17 you're going to have 44 stitches at the end of row 18 you're going to have 43 at the end of row 19 you're going to have 42 and at the end of row 20 you're going to have 41 stitches i will meet you at the end of the 20th row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of row 21 i know i told you we would meet at the end of row 20 but i decided to continue and make one more row so i'm at the end of row 21 right now and i'm going to work one more stitch reduction so here we're just going to work this front post double crochet don't close yarn over go on top of the last stitch grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close now i have a total of 40 stitches all around not including the two chains to finish go on top of the first stitch join with a slip stitch i've cut my yarn just pass your yarn through this last loop here now this next part what we're going to do is we're going to do front post and back post double crochet so that we can finish this part here so insert your hook back again into the same stitch you did your slip stitch grab this loop and chain two if you're not going to change color then just chain two right there now this first stitch that we have here is a double crochet we're going to work a front post double crochet the next one work a back post double crochet next one front post double crochet next one back post double crochet continue like this just alternating between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet all the way around this row 22. i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this first row of front post and back post double crochets now to finish go to the top of the first stitch join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish this row now for the next four rows you're going to chain two and these stitches you're going to work them in the same way this first one is a front post double crochet so make a front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet next one front post double crochet and so on you're going to do this for this row and then three more rows so i'll meet you at the end of the fifth row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of the fourth row i decided to only do four rows instead of the five that i told you i was going to do if you want to make more rows you can and you can even fold this part here like this so that it looks like this um, that would be up to you i'm only going to do four rows here so what i did here was i just joined to the top of the first stitch um, did a slip stitch cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop so this side here is done and that's what it looks like now you're going to do the exact same thing we did here on this other side so to start you off we're going to go here to the back and we're going to grab a loop here make sure you leave um, a nice long tail about this much this is about 12 inches um, because we're going to be left with a small gap right here right in the very um, middle so we're going to use this yarn here to close that so here we're going to go on top of this last stitch right here this is the two chains that are part of this side so right there insert your hook there grab this loop chain two now this double crochet here that's here this is right there we're going to work into a front post double crochet now go into the other side okay so go into this side here and the stitch after the stitch marker which is this front post double crochet you're going to make a double crochet on top like this now this is the gap that i told you that we're going to be left with so we're going to use this yarn to close that up so i'll show you that after we're done now the next stitch you work into a front post 
double crochet, double crochet, and front post double crochet. From here on you know how the stitches work, so continue like this all around and I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row now. We have the two chains and this first front post double crochet. To finish this row, go on top of the first stitch, which is the front post double crochet, and join with a slip stitch. Okay, and this is how we finish this row. Now, for the next row, you're going to do the exact same thing we did on this side for about 14 rows. Remember that at the end of the 14th row, we did our first reduction and then did until the end of row 21 where we had 40 stitches left. So you're going to do this part here exactly the same. Um, now, to continue for the second row here, I'm just going to show you quickly. You're going to chain two, and then this first stitch here is a front post double crochet so you know that you're going to work a double crochet on top then you're going to go into the next stitch work a front post double crochet then double crochet on top front post double crochet double crochet front post double crochet and so on now from here on you know how the stitch goes Again, you're going to do this for a total of 14 rows. At the end of the 14th row, you're going to work your first stitch reduction where we reduce one stitch at the end of each row, which is going to be done in the same way we did this part here. So you can just reference back to this part in the video. Okay, so continue like this. I'll meet you back once um, this side here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 14th row um, on this side. Here I want to show you how we're going to work the stitch reduction that we do at the end of every row. Since the stitches here are different, um, here on this side we had a double crochet first and then the front post double crochet. In this case we have the front post double crochet first and then the double crochet. So let me show you what you're going to do. You're going to go on top of this front post double crochet and make a double crochet. Don't close it, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, then go into the last stitch here and now work a front post double crochet. Take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Okay, so it's the opposite of what we did here. So let me show you again. You're going to yarn over, you're going to go on top of this front post double crochet and make a double crochet, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, go to the last stitch here and work a front post double crochet. Take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And now you go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. And from here on you just continue with the same thing. You're going to work a stitch reduction here at the end of row 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and row 21. And then you're going to do these four rows to finish the this other leg. Okay, I'm here at the end of row 15 and once again I want to show you so that there are no confusion as to how you're going to make the reductions at the end of these um, next couple of rows. Row 14 is right here. This is where we worked a double crochet and a front post double crochet into one stitch. So here, we have two stitches left here at the end of row 15, one and two. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, go on top of the front post double crochet, make a double crochet, but don't close it, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, then go into this stitch right here. This is the double crochet, and then this is the front post double crochet into one stitch. You're going to insert your hook into the double crochet and work your front post double crochet, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close like this. So let me show you again. We have two stitches left, yarn over, go on top of the front post double crochet, take two loops off, leave two loops, yarn over, go into the double crochet, not the front post. This is one stitch, but it's got two legs. So you're going to go into the first leg, let's just call it a leg, and you're going to work a front post double crochet, Take two loops off, three loops in the hook, close, and now go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. And that's how you're going to work the next um, couple of reductions at the end of every row. So I just thought I'd come and show you so that there is no confusion as to how you're going to work this last stitch. 
Okay, I finished making this other leg and that's what it looks like. So our baby pants are almost done here. I'm going to show you how to close this part here um, with this um, yarn that we left. We're going to close it. There is no right or wrong way to do this. You're just going to have to um, see what looks best. The, the important thing here is that we close this gap. So I'm just going to go into this stitch and then right across the other side like this. And then like this. Yeah, let me check. Yes, perfect. So that's how you're going to close that part there. Then just make sure you tie it so that it doesn't come undone. And this part here is done. Now here I went ahead and added this string. Um, this is just a chain of 130 chains using um, two strands of yarn. And I just weaved it here right in the very center of um, this row that we did right there. And so this part here is done. That's the front. This is the back right there. And these are the legs. So our baby pants are done. So now we have matching baby pants for the little cardigan that I already showed you. There it is. Now in another tutorial, I'm going to also do the baby booty. So stay tuned for that as well. Also, I started making these other pants. These here are smaller for baby between three and six months. This one here, I'm working them in a different way. I know a lot of you have a hard time working the front post and the back post double crochet. So um, here I'm going to do this a bit differently for those of you who are who have a hard time um, doing the front post and back post double crochet. So stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.